Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I am going to show you the new search feature in Cricut Design Space version 5.7.20. If you have this version, mine just updated. So if you haven't gotten it yet, you'll probably get it soon. But uh, mine just updated and if you have this version or later, we have a new search feature in the Cricut Design Space library. So let me just show you quickly how it works. So I have, here, let's just start back at the main screen. So here I am in my main screen, you're familiar with this. If you just click on images now, so you click on canvas, you click on images, and this is the new screen. We used to have a little search bar up here and it said filter and cartridges and images. That's all changed. This is our new home screen on the search images. So here you can do what you used to do right here. You can just type in, say I'm looking for a lemon. I can just type in lemon here and it's going to show me all the lemons in design space. So what they've done is move the filter feature over here and they've added some filters so that it's a little bit easier to access. So what you can do if you have Cricut Access, say you just wanna see lemons that are in Cricut Access, you don't wanna bother looking through the rest, you just click on that and it's gonna filter just Cricut Access images. Here we can click on type. So if we wanna make a card that has a lemon on it, let's see if there are any. There we go. So, or you could uncheck that, click phrases. You wanna phrase? All right, that one's not bringing up anything. Let's see about 3D, nope. All right, let's look at the art type. And to open and close these filters, you can just click on the plus or the minus button, depending which one it is. So we're gonna click on art type. They have cut only. So if we're looking for a lemon that we can cut out, we can click cut only. If we wanna draw a lemon, we can click that filter. If we want one that has a print fill, we can do that one or we can choose score. So let's see if there is a draw lemon. There you go. So this is an image that you could use one of the Cricut pens or infusible ink pens and draw. This one is probably a cut image, but those lines in it are going to be drawn. And same here, the lines are gonna be drawn. But it's just telling you that these are images that have draw lines in them that have a lemon. All right, let's uncheck that. I'm gonna close that filter. Let's look at image complexity. We have a simple image. This is gonna be a very basic image. How about a moderate image? There we go, and a complex image. So you can try to filter that out that way. Let's look at layers. We want single layer lemon. We just wanna cut one layer. So there's your single layer lemons. What about multi-layer? There we go. What if we just want to look at lemons that we own? We can go to ownership and we can go purchased. And we might as well click on free because we can use those too. So this is showing me all the lemons that I could use if I'm an access member or I have bought these image sets. These are all ones that I have the rights to. All right, and if we have uploaded an image, I haven't uploaded any images of lemons, so it's not bringing up anything there. And if you've downloaded it for offline use, I have not, so I'm not even going to choose that one. We can also choose by brand. There's Cricut brand, Sesame Street, Marvel, Disney, Sanrio, Warner Brothers. If you're looking for something by brand. Here you can search things if you're looking for certain projects that use vinyl, paper, cardstock, iron-on, or infusible ink, you can search that. Or you can search by language. So let's clear out our lemon filter. Let's go back to the categories. Here are featured images. These are just images that Cricut Design Space is featuring. You might wanna check those out from time to time. I see a lot of fun things in here. And in fact, I made a shirt today. You can find that on my YouTube channel with this image right here. That's the one I use for the Be Kind shirt. And they're just some images that they are highlighting. Let's go back. Here we have recently added images. This is how you can find out what's new in a design space. So these are all recently added images and again let's look at art type i'm always interested in these draw ones because now we have the infusible ink pens and the joy pen and the cricket pens these are all images that would be great to use with those so oh these are fun so again you can filter out any of these categories further once you get into the next screen so we have free this week. Cricut is currently adding 
new images each week. They're switching them out. So you're going to have a plethora of images, but they're going to change each week just to keep it fresh. And they are providing more than normal uh, free images right now to help everyone who is homebound, just to make things a little bit easier and give you a little bit more uh, content to play with. So I think that's very awesome. Thank you, Cricut. But just let's just see what's free this week. So here are 3,533 images right now, free in Cricut Design Space that you can play with. You don't have to be an Access member. They're not going to cost you anything. They have made all 3,533 of these images free to use right now. And again, we can go through and we can filter them out. So you can also, before we had, we wanted to look at like a cartridge. So we had the cartridges tab up here and we could look up our cartridges. Now it's called image sets, it's right here. So if you wanna find a certain cartridge, you go to image sets and here you can search if you know the name of it or if I just wanna see the images, image sets that I own, I can click on the purchased filter. And these are all images that I own or that I'm a Cricut Access member, so I have um, use of all of the Cricut Access image sets. If I uncheck that, look at this. These are all the free image sets right now. So again, check these out. Cricut has very generously given us a lot of images to play with just to make this time a little bit easier on everybody. I'm not going to go through each one of these categories. I know that you understand how that works, but I just wanted to show you that there are lots of ways to filter your images so that you don't spend a lot of time scrolling through the library, but you have more time to create. So uh, just for instance, also I wanna point out, let's go to food and kitchen. So you'll notice when I click on food and kitchen, of course I've got all the food and kitchen items. But also over here, I have subcategories. So if there's something I'm looking for, I can click, I clicked view more right here and I can sort it out by this. So let's just see what kind of vegetables there are. So they've tried to take a lot of the guesswork out for you. So here's all the vegetables. And of course, if I was looking for squash or cucumber, I could type that up here and it's going to search even further for me. I can. Again, filter it out as much or as little as I want. So they're trying to make it as fast as it can as they can for you to find the images so that you can get busy creating. So I hope you found this helpful. I just wanted to make sure and point it out to you because it's just going to happen. You're going to click on images and your screen's gonna look completely different. And I didn't want you to be surprised and I wanted you to know how to navigate. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below the video. And until next time, see you guys, bye.